All right, so I am almost to the cardiologist. I'm slightly behind, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in there and they are putting on a monitor that I have to wear for two weeks and hopefully they'll find out why I keep having issues with my heart because my heart keeps like beating too slow and then it beats like way too fast so hopefully this will help them figure out what is going on with my heart <laughs> so I'll see you guys inside so the video footage that I got at the cardiologist did not save to the camera for some reason I have no idea what happened um, I was also rushing and because I was slightly late but then I managed to sit in the waiting room for like 45 minutes but that's okay. This is the monitor that I got put on. I have to wear it for two weeks. And then they gave me this little booklet that you like write down the stuff in. Like this is the example they gave. Like if my heart starts like beating too slow or too fast, like I just push this. So you push this button and it puts like a little mark on the recording so then they can look at that specific spot and then they can look at like what you wrote down you know like what you were doing because you write in here what you were feeling like they said if I start feeling like short of breath or like chest pain or anything like that I just like note it in the book there's also an app which I plan to actually put the app on my phone because I will most likely lose this book but you just kind of write down the date and the time and everything and then like how long it lasted for and then like what you were doing so that they can kind of see what's going on I had to have this put on because three years ago I actually had to wear a monitor while I was pregnant with my daughter because I kept having um, where my heart would be beating like extremely fast and I wouldn't be doing anything that would cause it to do that like I would literally just be sitting at my house and, like they know that it's a, an electrical problem because there's nothing um, structurally wrong with my heart so they're trying to figure out you know kind of what's going on with it because now it's actually starting to get worse instead of my heart beating too fast now it's actually starting to beat too fast and it also has times where it beats incredibly slow so and it, it you know it's been causing me other issues other than just that I've had to go to the hospital for it um, the emergency room doctor did not take me seriously he didn't care that I had literally the um, paperwork from me seeing the cardiologist before he kind of just laughed in my face even though I was having like really bad chest pain and my arm was numb and stuff like that he just kind of shrugged it off and was like here's some anxiety medication go home um so I ended up going back to my doctor and he referred me to the cardiologist again luckily I got sent back to the same one that I went to three years ago and so he kind of already knew my history and so now I have to wear this for two weeks so that they can try to find out what's going on and then he told me that they might actually end up sending me to like a specialist this thing I don't even I don't know how I feel about it right now like it kind of it's itchy I don't know if that's just like the adhesiveness on it but it is kind of itchy and they said like I can't I can't face the water when I shower I can't even shower tonight at all because they said I can't shower or bathe for like 24 hours after getting this put on so I guess the adhesive has time to really adhere to the skin um I will just kind of take you along with me to see you know what this how this goes and kind of what comes of it I'm a little nervous just because my mom has like bad heart problems and she's had like a bunch of heart attacks and strokes and stuff like that she has she's had heart surgery multiple times and I know she has something like implanted in her chest to help her heart and I really don't want to deal with that I don't even want to take like I don't want to have to take medication for my heart like she does because she actually takes like a ton of medications for her heart and I don't I don't want that now obviously if I have to if I have to you know to kind of control this issue then I it is what it is but I really don't want to have to do that because it's not fun watching my mom go through that but knowing that my mom started having heart issues when she was like 22 I think she was like 22 23 when she had her like first heart attack I don't want to experience that um, so I'm just I'm trying to do this so that I can be as healthy as I can be for my children especially my son because his health issues I honestly put above mine majority of the time because to me he's more important than I am to myself so 
it took a while to actually get me to go to the doctor to address this issue. So now it's just kind of like a waiting game because after the two weeks of wearing this, they said I stick it in this box and ship it back and then they will get the results and then they will contact me about that to reschedule an appointment to discuss the results of this. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm honestly kind of nervous because I just, I don't, I don't really want a heart problem. I mean, obviously I have some type of heart issue, um, which the doctor said that there's nothing I could have done to prevent it because more than likely it's just something I was born with and right, like, and now it's starting to just cause me, you know, issues as I get older. So I will keep you guys updated on how this goes and I don't know, hopefully... Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully they're able to catch some type of activity on the monitor so that they can figure it out and quickly address the issue that is going on with my heart. So I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell before you go so that you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Bye guys.